to the Super Bros Kitchen. I'm here alongside Chef Rock and today we're going to do five Italian pasta noodles. We're going to start off in Naples. Uh, in Naples we're going to be making our traditional lasagna noodle and then after that I'll be also heading over to Trentino to make one of their tagliatelle noodles and uh, we'll see how she goes. Then we're going to head over to Rome and make a spaghetti noodle. Then we're going to make handmade bouchette noodles. Then we're going to finish off in Apulio with a handmade orangetta. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to start out here by weighing out 200 grams of flour. I have basically the, uh, the flour or the ingredients are the same for the dough. So we're just uh, going to make one big dough bowl essentially. There's a hundred. One, two hundred. Right on the dot. Uh, we're gonna just flop this out onto our table like this. It's a little well. You wanna make sure your well is big enough to hold both of your eggs. I don't like that. All right, then I'm gonna use my dish here to crack my egg right in the middle of our well. Being careful not to get any uh, eggshells into our mixture. Right. All right, so now I'm just gonna beat the egg in this well, carefully not to spill. And then you'll slowly start to incorporate some of the flour and pull the flour into your egg. Anyways, while he's kneading his, his dough here, he's going to be at least 10 to 15 minutes here working his, his doughs. I'm going to start with mine. Okay, here we are now. So I'm going to make the two flours. So we're going to need 200 grams semolina flour. This is durum wheat semolina. Okay, 200 grams here. Just make a, a mountain here. And then uh, we're gonna go in with some water into the middle. And we'll pull it in. It takes 10 minutes to knead these doughs. We're just gonna work our way down. See, stretch through the dough, squish it in your fingers. Just stretching those gluten fibers out. Put it on and we'll fold it back over. Guys, this is hitting perfect here. Great exercise. This is our first uh, noodle baking experience. Uh, yep. Yeah. Was a box past the man for all the time. Yep. Yeah. So all you could let us know how we've done. It looks like it's coming along pretty good. I'm kneading out my dough really well. Look at that. Then we're gonna cover with saran wrap tightly and let rest for 30 minutes and then we will uh, be back to shape our pastas, cook up a simple sauce, a few different simple sauces. Okay so we're going to do the spaghetti for, for uh, Rome, Italy and we're going to take 50 grams of our semolina flour, durum wheat. And then mix that with 50 grams of double O. And then we're going to add in one large egg. So first we'll give this a mix, incorporate both of our flours. that out 
I'll just make a little well. You just go like this with your fingers. Do a little circle like that. Grab your one egg. And then we're just gonna loose this up. Pulling in a little bit of flour from the outside. Until you get a bit of a dough going here. And then you can start bringing in a little bit more. And then just start bringing in the sides. We're working with very small quantities here because we don't want to waste food. But uh, ideally, if you're cooking for like a family of two or a family of four, you'd want to do um, anywhere from 200 to 300 or even 400 grams of your flour. And up to two or three eggs. Essentially three eggs for a uh, family of four and uh, two eggs for, for two. But it's just, uh, just uh, a single person here, so we're just going to keep it to the one egg. All right, take your dough. We're going to wrap it up. Stash it for 30 minutes. And okay, so we're just going to flour our surface well here. You want a nice, well-floured surface when you're working with uh, pasta doughs. We're making a semolina flour, our dough, so we're going to use semolina to uh, roll our stuff out. I'm putting down double oil flour for this, for my... So first thing I'm going to do is split my dough ball in half, approximately. And that's for our two different noodle types. And then I'm going to start rolling it out into a thin sheet. I'm going to start making the lasagna. So what I'm looking for on my piece of dough here is uh, so that it's see-through. You should be able to see your hand through the dough, which we're basically already at. I just got this crease now that I have to work out as much as I can. Okay, we're going to make our orncetta. So you take uh, a butter knife here, dry. Just like that till it curls and then we're going to fold the curl back over and make just these little rustic little pockets little noodles i'm not very good at it yet it's my first time doing it but we're going to try and, and we're going to get good little ears they call these There it is, that's the one I'm looking for. Maybe I was just a little too big. Don't forget to fold them back over. There it is. And then you reverse that little cup and then there, that's your little noodle. And these are gonna have nice sauce to sauce it, the little holes. The little cup will hold the sauce. Yeah, exactly, that's what I was thinking, little cups. There, now we got the technique down. Look at how fast these are coming out. Now we got the technique. So, everything so we got simple. four different kinds of pasta. I'm sorry for the butchered ones here, but that's how they turned out for us. We'll get better over the years. So we want them the same size as our pan, roughly. That's what I'm aiming for. This works out good because I can make two noodles here as well with this strip. Okay, welcome to the cooktop, everybody. So we got a Dutch oven here. We got it on high. We're gonna get it nice and hot. We have our pancetta here, and uh, parts of this pancetta is cheek we had left over. Uh, so I chopped it all into here. Um, that's what we're using here to build some flavors for our pasta sauce, for one of our sauces. So we're going to go right into here and do a nice hot pan. You want to keep everything moving for the first little bit. 
Okay, we're just going to go in with our onion, scatter them all out, break them all up. Don't worry about any of the sticky bits at the bottom of your, of your Dutch oven or your pan or whatever you're using. When we go in with the tomato sauce, it's going to pick up all those little bits, the acid in the tomatoes, and it will just develop a huge, beautiful, rich flavored sauce. Turn the heat back up to medium. Controlling your heat is very important. I'm just going to go in with a few cloves of garlic. You can never have too much garlic. So we have a couple cloves of garlic. We have some nice bigger pieces in here. We don't mind having those. Now we're getting some lovely color in here. We're just gonna let the garlic become fragrant and then we're gonna go in with- Okay, now we have some fresh thyme. So we're gonna go right in You just peel them off. You could use dried in here too, but I prefer using the fresh thyme. And you would add it in now at this stage because it will go, it will get nice and cooked into your food there. So we'll go in with some fresh thyme. We'll cut a couple of sage leaves, I like these. Good enough. That's all we need for herbs. Come aside. Go with a little bit of drag or dried oregano. Just a quarter of a teaspoon is all you need. And we'll get those tossed up and then we'll add our passata. We use a passata here with basil. And uh, we also hand crush. Uh, a San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes. You just you crush them in your hand and that way you're left with some nice big chunks of tomato in here. Okay so we have our San Marzano tomatoes and we're just going to go right in and we're just going to crush them right in with your hand. You want to have some chunks in there. That's why we wear aprons here at the Super Bros Kitchen. I'm gonna do four or five of these San Marzano tomatoes. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix this up. Turn up our heat again. You should be around uh, medium here in your Dutch oven. If you're not, turn up your heat. And look at the color already. The sauce is going a beautiful, dark, deep, rich red from all of the uh, pancetta and everything that was cooked underneath and once this starts to blitz away we'll go in and add our uh, I would say about a quarter quarter uh, can or a quarter jug 680 mils I'd say about 240 mils so a third of this uh, passata we'll go in and then this sauce is done Smells incredible. Starting to blitz away. Give it a shake. There's whole there's whole basil leaves and everything in here. That's all we're gonna do. And then give that a good mix. And then when we start to boil off our pasta noodles, we're also going to incorporate a, a ladle of pasta sauce in here and get some starches cooked into the sauce. So we're just going to leave this on a slow, just low and slow. Let it cook until we get everything ready with our pasta. Okay, we're going to go in with our orangette right here. So we're just going to cook them off in batches here. No oil in your water, everybody. No oil in your water. There's no need for oil in your water. You can spin oil, your... oil and water don't don't mix anyways. So what are you doing with oil in your water anyways? You can spin your uh, your pot to get them unstuck from the bottom. 
If you get the odd one stuck on the bottom, you just spin your pot. Though. It's okay, we're going to go in. These things are already floating. Like I said, fresh pasta only takes a minute. You got your scooper? They only take a minute. Okay, we're good. Nothing's sticking here. Sauce flipping away as soon as we get some nice. These are the thicker of the noodles here. Like there's some thick parts, so we're gonna let them cook. It's about two minutes, guys. As soon as we get some nice uh, starchy water, then we're gonna mix some into our tomato sauce, and then we're done here too. See, we're starting to get that light rumble, that's what we're after. And it's two minutes from that light rumble. Normally, you would cook them right in the sauce and finish them in sauce now. But we do not going to do that because we're going to use the sauce for many things. Okay, so we have our noodles pulled out. We're just going to go with a drizzle of olive oil. Right, and just give a nice little toss here. Now we're just going to cook our other ones right now, or quickly. Our spiralized ones. These ones are almost done too, I love this. Look at that, they stay together in a spiral and everything. Yep. That's so cool. I'm going to start putting my own here. Yeah. But make sure you kind of have it on camera. I'll try. Can't you just sneak it right in here? Yeah, probably. So we're going to go in with a little bit of our, our water into our pasta sauce. I'm going to use a little bit more as it gets a little starchier. I'm going to start putting our uh, lasagna together, guys. And then you going to put a layer of olive oil in there? No problem. It's going to stick to the sheet and stick to that thing. And then you probably want to preheat in your oven. I was thinking actually just a little ladle of sauce on the bottom. Are you going to preheat in your oven? Yeah, I will. Here, just a little sauce. A little sauce at the bottom is how I'm going to start, guys. That's good. That's how he's doing it. Then we're going to spread this uh, with a spoon around the bottom. Just like this. Instead of using olive oil, we're going to try this method here. So that we're not putting extra oil into our food. This should work. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my god. The pan. <laughs> I can probably hold it like this. Here, nice. Hey, can, can you I mean, see it? Can you see? Yeah, you can. No, you can't. No, I can only see to that pot. Oh shoot! Here, let me take it down. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna start layering our lasagna now. Out, we Just are going to use light amount of cheese on this layer, followed by some more tomato sauce. And then we're going to go in with our carbonara. Just give us a little bit of a mix up, make sure our ribbons are good. Gorgeous. These ones are cooked a lot faster. cheese or pasta game here this is our very first attempt at making pasta I just want you to know and I believe that we pulled it off decent and we would have made a few men as proud uh, carrying on a tradition exactly and 
and uh, we would like to uh, do another travel to Italy one day and uh, learn some more. That's good. Good. Okay, this, these noodles are done here. I don't want to go any more than that, so let's get them out. them all. Right, perfect. So with this top layer, I'm just going to give it just a touch of sauce, barely anything. <laughs> We're going to go with our fettuccine alfredo. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're al dente. Mm. Ah, huh. need. That's al dente. It's just a little too, uh, or a little not, not quite al dente enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like, like to the bite, you know. Like you're supposed to feel your teeth going through the dough, through the through the noodle, not soft and mushy. And just drinking. Works. Just drinking a Super Bros Power Fruit Smoothie right here with 14 berries. Check out the Super Bros website for recipes on all of our drinks. We'll add more soon, guys. Yeah. It's a new website. It's only been out for a month now, so it's growing. Definitely want to check it out. We got lots of recipes up there. Lots of fun little adventures that you can read. I'm gonna toss our noodles here. Just a little bit of olive oil in there, right? Just so they don't stick. Okay, so what I want to do is just toss my uh, noodles in some sauce. So you can just cook it all together, but we have so many different sauces and stuff, dishes going on that I'm just gonna do a quick little toss in a bowl. And then we'll go ahead and cut some corn meal. Yep, when it's done, it's not going to stay in this bowl. So now we're going to pull it out nicely. Just like that. And then Chef Rock will come right over top here. And we just want to pluck little leaves just like this so they curl. There we go. Here we have our carbonara with uh, with pancetta. And uh, it's a mix, it's a blend of pancetta and, uh, and the cheek. So we're just gonna toss some of our Alfredo. We're not using it all here because we're gonna serve the rest up for the family. But we're gonna do enough to show you what it looks like. beautiful alfredo sauce here it's rich and creamy and we're gonna go in with a couple ladles of that and then we're gonna quickly have a little toss up here just to coat all the noodles that's all we're trying to do there because these noodles have a lot of the starchy water still left on them so there's a lot of sauce right there once we mix a little bit of sauce, it's gonna go a long way. And how I like to do it is pick it up like this from a height. And then come down on the center. Anyways, that's what I was going for.
Okay. Let's open the black pepper on top, guys. Always oh, cheese. on this plate. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, that's not my home. Okay, here is our fettuccine Alfredo with homemade Alfredo sauce finished with a little bit of horse black pepper that we crushed with our chef knife. A couple of basil leaves. I'm going to grab a nice piece and go right over the top. like that. Right, it's boiling. Little bits of pancetta. There we have our tagliatelle done with uh, pecorino romano cheese and drizzled with some of the stock, uh, the noodle stock that we have. Good? Yep. Trying to get the cheese more in there. There we go. <laughs> Here we have our beautiful lasagna made with our uh, lasagna sheets that we rolled out earlier. And we have some mozzarella cheese in there. We have some we have some white cheddar in here. We some have pepper salami, some pepper salami, prosciutto, some prosciutto. So let's get going. I can't wait to dig into these plates and try them out for you. Neither. We have five beautiful plates from five different parts of Italy, all hand rolled the best of our abilities. And now we're gonna get a fork and dive in. We all got, right, we're gonna start with the first one here. Deep dive in. This is the fettuccine Alfredo. It looks it's hard to tell. I lightly coat. Mm. Perfect noodles. Sauce is good. El dente. El dente for sure. That's absolutely perfect. It's not undercooked and it's not overcooked. The uh, naked good. guys with a little uh, prosciutto. That is so unbelievably amazing. Wow, he got the good bite. He got the good bite in here. He's loving it. <laughs> he, almost, he almost vacuumed up the whole thing. thing. <laughs> He's like, give me the whole thing. <laughs> if it was anything like the first plate, I'm going to eat it all this time. And here we go. We got our beautiful lasagna here. And it turned out great. Look at that. It's fork tender. That's unreal. It holds together so lovely. Look at all the beautiful layers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Bottoms up. Oh. It's great for just throwing it together. Oh my God. Hey, we have no wet cheeses in here. This is unbelievably moist and beautiful. Every single layer. It's a perfect quick little lasagna you can throw together in just a few minutes. Homemade pasta. Homemade pasta five ways everybody. Let's go. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Smash that subscribe button Let's and like those. all of our videos. If you like what you see and you like and see all of our hard work here, then you want to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell up in the corner and keep on watching us every Tuesday and Thursday. And please watch every second because we need those hours guys. Help us out. Let's go. We're going to dig into the carbonara. Look at this. 
Oh wow! Look at those beautiful oh, ribbon donuts. Oh. Oh, these. We did not mess up on one of these cooks. So far, we have one more plate to go. But every single noodle is cooked to perfection. All right. Till next time, friends. Keep eating and stay super. Mmm. Oh, I'm getting in there. Oh.